Morning. Today is Sunday, the 17th of January, and it's the second Sunday of the church's year in ordinary time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people, bestow your peace on our times, through your, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. First reading is from the book of Samuel, and it's about Samuel hearing the voice saying, Samuel, Samuel, during the night, and he says, who is it? Goes to Eli to ask what he wants, and eventually Eli twigs it's the Lord, and Samuel says, when he hears for the fourth time, Samuel, Samuel, he says, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. The second reading is from 1 Corinthians, and it's about um, basically using your body properly. Paul says our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and it's the body of Christ, that we're all the body of each other, and therefore our sexual morality, and above all, our behaviour um, should be appropriate. Um, he's particularly saying to the Corinthians, you mustn't go with prostitutes. The Gospel is from the beginning of John, Gospel of John. As John stood with two of his disciples, Jesus passed, and John stared hard at him and said, Look, there is the Lamb of God. Hearing this, the two disciples followed Jesus. Jesus turned round, saw them following, and said, what do you want? They answered, Rabbi, which means teacher, where do you live? Come and see, he replied. So they went and saw where he lived and stayed with him the rest of that day. It was about the tenth hour. One of these two who became followers of Jesus after hearing what John had said was Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. Early next morning, Andrew met his brother and said to him, we have found the Messiah, which means the Christ, and he took Simon to Jesus. Jesus looked hard at him and said, You are Simon, son of John, you are to be called Cephas, meaning rock. The Gospel of the Lord. So today's readings are about calling and the morality we must follow after we're called. But the emphasis very much is on calling. The first reading from Samuel, the um, book of Samuel, is all about Samuel hearing the word of the Lord. And he makes that wonderful reply, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. It's a grace to be able to listen and to be open to hear. So often we've got a pre predetermined idea of what we want to hear, predetermined idea of what we want to do very often in many circumstances and to be humble enough and open enough and undecided enough to listen to the Lord and really reflect on how the Lord is calling us and speaking to us it's, it's demanding it's the heart of the Ignatian spirituality the spiritual exercises all boil down to finding the right state of mind, state of soul, state of understanding the teaching of the church, to be open to hearing what God wants from someone. What, what God wants from me, a retreat is always personal. But it's the gospel where we hear the John's version of the calling of the apostles, that we hear a, a very detailed and very personal approach to the calling. Um, when John says to his disciples, seeing Jesus pass by, he says, look, that's the Lamb of God. And two of them follow Jesus. Um, and he turns around and says to them, what do you want? And I think they didn't have a clue what to answer. Um, so, as is so often the case you hear in politics and on the radio, uh, instead of giving any answer, to, no answer at all, they ask a question back. Um, and in ways it's rather a simplistic question, you know, it doesn't really even touch 
why uh, Jesus answered what you want and answered what you want. So they said, well, where do you live? And Jesus works up on that and says, come to where I am, come and spend the day. And that famous phrase, which is used so often to do with vocations, come and see. And so the heart of the calling to Jesus is not that he's unknown, but that one comes to know him. Um, and Jesus makes the point, come and spend the day with me, come and see where I live and spend time with me. And all of us, we have had received calls and we will receive calls from the Lord, what to do with our lives, how to live, what's the right thing to do. Um, and it always does revolve around knowing the will of God and knowing what Jesus is calling us to do involves spending time with Jesus, spending time in prayer, spending time reading and pondering the Gospels, looking at the various circumstances that Christians do, reading the lives of the saints, reading all about what Christian life is about, and trying to be open to it, not trying to pre-decide what you want God to call you to do. Um, so today's, in many ways, is the beginning of the church's year, and it's a journey with Christ through the year. And we're called to open our hearts to do, to listen and to do so in an un, un pre prejudiced way. We do have a second reading today where Jesus, uh, where Paul is uh, writing to the Corinthians saying you must observe sexual morality, especially when it comes to prostitutes. I think it's an important area this, that the, the argument he uses applies to the whole of life. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So all of what we do, whether it's preparing food, eating food, walking around, sleeping, um, cleaning the house, whatever it is, our body is the way we express it. And God is with us because we're, we're doing all those things with our bodies, the temple of the Holy Spirit. So in a sense, all our work is in the presence of God. In one sense, it's prayer. Um, I know some some spiritual fathers would say uh, all is prayer. Um, I think that the, there is a distinction between giving time to prayer and giving time to work. Yes, you can pray um, while you are sweeping, etc. And I must end with that famous joke that most of you have heard, but it does illustrate this. Uh, a Dominican went to his spiritual director and said, do you think it's all right to smoke while I pray? And the Dominican said, oh, no, 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 you can't smoke while you pray. You must concentrate on the prayer. Um, smoking is not something you must do during that. And then a Jesuit went to his spiritual director and put the same question, but the other way around, and said, do you think it's all right to pray while I'm smoking? And the spiritual director said, yes, of course it's fine. Yes, you can... Uh, pray while you're smoking. I do think the joke is le losing a bit of force because so few people smoke these days, but when a lot of people smoked, and certainly until, until what, 20, 30 years ago, Jesuits were known as uh, chimneys smoking away. Um, uh, the joke made a lot of sense. Anyway, we turn now to our bidding prayers. Response is, we praise you, O Lord, and we thank you. Let us thank our Saviour, who came into this world, that God might be with us. We praise you, O Lord, and we thank you. We welcome you with praise. You are the day star, the first fruits from the dead. Let us rise with you to walk in the light of Easter. We praise you, O Lord, and we thank you. Help us on this day of rest to see goodness in all your creatures. Open our eyes and our hearts to see your love in the world. We praise you, O Lord, and we thank you. Lord, we meet around your table as your family. Help us to see that our bitterness is forgotten, our discord is resolved, and our sins are forgiven. We praise you, O Lord, and we thank you. We pray for all Christian families. May your spirit deepen their unity in faith and love. We praise you, O Lord, and we thank you. And Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty God, ruler of all things in heaven and on earth, listen favourably to the prayer of your people, and grant us your peace in our day. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, have a good day, and have a good week. All the best.